good morning friends now today i would like to discuss percentages chapter all right this percentages chapter is such an important chapter for you almost in every competitive examination in our country where aptitude is part of that one definitely they are going to ask questions from percentages right from in start from this bank clerical examination right or any bank PO examination, IBPS PO or SBI PO or RBI grade B officers or any insurance exams or even CSAT, civil services aptitude test, right? Even CAT examination, very well. Whatever the exam may be, definitely there are questions from percentages. All right. So now my attempt is I would like to like discuss this chapter in various sessions there. All right. So now first let us start with the basic level understanding uh, understanding of percentages then after that gradually i increase the standard there and uh, we are going to discuss uh, the very basic concepts then basic level questions a little moderate moderate and finally <clears throat> i am going to have very advanced level questions based on percentages all right now let us begin the chapter percentages <coughs> the very meaning of percent Percent is per hundred. Remember, per hundred on every hundred is called percent. For example, it is given twenty five percent. What's the meaning of twenty five percent? Twenty five percent means that is twenty five upon hundred. Means that is twenty five for every hundred. This is the meaning of that. Suppose if you want to find out what is twenty five percent of 500. All right. Simply we can say 25%. 25 upon 100 times 500 multiplied by this one. Now clearly it is going to be 125. Right. This is the basic level understanding of percentages. Let's move further now. Suppose what if they give like this instead of giving in this way. Suppose if they give in this way 25% of a number, a number is 125, 25% of a number is 125 and what is that number? Generally, the conventional way of doing this one is simply take the number as x. Then after that, 25% of x is equal to 125. Then what is x? With using basic algebra, we can find out the answer. But in the competitive examinations, I won't suggest you to go by taking something as x. So directly we can go like this. When it is given 25% of a number is 125. Obviously, this number is when it is 25% of a number. Now this number is 100%. Let us take that number as 100%. Now very clearly, when 25% of a number is 125, this number nothing but a 100% is how much? Now very clearly that should be 100 by 25 into 125. Again it is 500. Hope you got the idea, right? Next time onwards, don't take any x here. Avoid x as far as possible. I will teach you many chapters without taking x, including time and distance, ratio, proportion and everything. Everything we are going to have like in the due course of time. Now, suppose, what if they give in this way? Right? Let us take 15%, uh, um, any number, right? 15% of a number is, 15% of a number is, uh, take 300. Okay. What is 75% of the number, of the same number? All right. Now in this case, here also, you need not find out the original number here. That is not required here, right? The conventional way says that first find out the original number based on this one, right? After that, 75% of that original number is going to be your answer. But I won't suggest you to go in this way, straight away, by using unitary method, you can solve the question. Now simply you can say, when 15% of a number is 300, obviously, 75% of the same number is how much? Now we will use the unitary method here. Now 75 by 15 into 300. Alright, you can get this one. So this is 5 times you can go for the 
Simplification. Alright. So now, if they give in this way, part of this one is something they give the value, then what is the other part? Straight away we can find out that one. This is another. Thing. Now let us move a little further now. This is very, very important now. So this is, suppose, let us take one number. I am taking this one as a 200. Alright. Now, 200 is there with me, number. I need to increase this to 200. Increase 200 by 10%. That is the question. I need to increase 200 by 10%. What is the result of that? The conventional way says in this way, first 200 plus, it should be increased by 10%. So it should be 10% of 200. Now it is 200 plus 10% of 200. 10% of 200 is nothing but 20. So now plus 20, I get the answer as 220. But it is, is it required to do in this way? Think it over. No, there is no need to go in this way, straight away. You should do the, in this way. Now, next time onwards, while solving all the problems, you must use this one, right? So now, 200 is there. I need to increase it by 10%. Now, directly I can say 200 into multiplication. 200 into, because it is going to be increased. 200 into increased by 10%. So 10% is going to be added to this one. Now the fraction becomes, the fraction becomes 200 into 110 by 100. Remember, 110 by 100. What is this 110 actually? 110 is generally when you are talking about one number, that number percentage wise, I should take that number as 100%. Now I am increasing 10% for that one and that should be based on this original number. For that reason, 200 into 110 by 100. You will get the same answer. That should be 220. Alright. For example, a number is there. Let us take the same number 200. I want to decrease this one by 10%. In this case, the same way the original number 200 into I want to decrease it by 10%, right? So now this original number, I am taking it as 100%. When it is decreased by 10%, the result is 90% only. Now in this case, so 200 into 90 by 100. 90% is nothing but 90 by 100. Now it will become, it is, uh, hope you got the idea, right? For example, I have a number. I have a number, let us take uh, 150, right? Increase 150 by 30%. I want to increase this one by 30%. Very obviously, my answer is going to be or else my fraction is, the fraction should be 150 into 30% increased. So that should be 130 by 100. Right? Suppose I want to decrease this one. I want to decrease it by 30% again. Now in this case, uh, 150 into decreasing by 30%. The original is 100%. Now decrease by 30%. It should be 150 into the fraction becomes 70 by 100 only. Now it should be into 70 by 100. We need to go in this way. What the clarity? Right. This is very, very important concept in percentages, especially for the beginners. Right. So now, what if the question is like this? Suppose... Uh, if they give it this way, I have a number 200, okay? First you need to increase the number by 10%, right? Again, increase the result by 20% more, 20%. Increase the result by 20%, right? In this case, how to take it forward? In one step I need to go for this one. The one step fraction is a First, I have 200 into, right, increased by 10%, 110 by 100, alright. Then, it is again increased by 10%, 20% into 120 by 100. Suppose if they say, after that, uh, you need to decrease it by, the result should be decreased by 30%. Now, in this case, next, uh, decreased by 30%. Obviously, you can say this one. 
the whole fraction should be multiplied by 30% decreased 70 by 100. This is going to be the result. Hope you got the idea, right? Always do the questions in this way. Many questions can be solved in percentages chapter or profit and loss or in data interpretation. Very important, right? So if you are perfect in uh, simplification, approximation, rounding off, then percentages, averages and ratio proportion, data interpretation is cake swap for you. I will give you fantastic shortcuts for data interpretation as well. Let us start with this one, right? So now, after this one, what if they give in this way? Sometimes, sir. Uh, they won't give the number. They won't give the number. Simply they give that a number first increased by some percentage. Again increased by some percentage. What is the net result they ask? Or what is the effect on the original one? What is the effect on the original one means I need to find out in terms of the percentage. Or what percent is the result less than or more than that of the original number? Or else a number is given first increased by some percent, after that decreased by some percent, after that increased by some percent. So they can fabricate anything. If this is the case, how to go for this one? We can obviously do this one even without the number also. Now we will go for this. For example, if the question is like this. First a number is increased by 10%. Okay. Again it is increased by uh, let us say 20%. Now, the question is, uh, what is the net effect? Net effect in the sense, in terms of the percentage we have to go for. Alright, now, net effect, uh, I would go in this way. Now, no need to take the original, no, no need to take the original number in the sense, not uh, original number is not required. Even without that, I can find out the value. This is as simple as this one. Now, first let us go with the conventional method. How it would be, right? For example, I will take this one. Let the number be 100. Let the number be 100. Alright. So now, when it is 100, first 10% increased, again 20% increased. I would go in this way. 100 into, now you know the technique. 110 by 100 into 120 by 100. Alright. Now simply, after simplification, I can say, that is 12 into 11. That is 120 plus 12, 132. Now it is 132. What do you mean by 132? Number 100 has become 132. After the iterations here. Now, when 100 has become 132, increment is there obviously, but I need to find out what percent it is increased. Always remember, when it is increased from 100 to 132, you need to calculate the percentage based on 100. 100 will become the base. Now, now uh, to go for the percentage, how much percentage increment is there? Now, 100 to 132. So, 32 got increased. I am doing here. Now, 32 got uh, increased. 32 increased uh, on 100. Right? I want to show it in terms of percentage. A fraction. Converting a fraction into percentages, you need to multiply that one with 100, right? Converting percentage to fraction, you need to divide that one with 100. These are the basic things. Anyway, into 100. Alright, now my answer will become the number, the effect is 32% increment is the effect. Hope you got the idea. But, in competitive exams, even you need not do this much work, right? Straight away, simply you can tell the answer, right? So that one, we will go in this way. First, they have given 10% increase. Then, 20% increase. Alright. In this case, what happens? 10% increase means, in a shortcut way, we can go like this. 10%, 10 by 100. Alright. So now, I am taking these two zeros. Now, 10% increase means this 10, right? This 10, 10 by 100. We can, according to the shortcut, we can do in this way. We can comment that 10 has been increased, right? 10 has become increased, increased by 1. 10 has become left. After that, 20% increased. Increased. In this case, how to take it forward? 20% is nothing but 
20 by 100. Now 10 plus 2 I need to do. Now in this case it is 10 has become 12. Now after multiplication this is 100, 120 plus uh, this is 12. Just now we have done 132. This one. Now 100 has become 132. Obviously 32 percent increment. This is how we need to go for the questions. Hope you got the idea. This is the other point in this one. Other point in this one. Now, let us go for one time increment, one time decrease. How it would be? Let us use the same numbers now. First, 10% increased or else it will change you. First, 20% increased. Then, 10% decreased. What is the net effect? What is the net effect? Now obviously, without taking the number as 100, I am doing this question directly, the directly in this way. Now 20% increased means 20 by 100, alright, means 10 has become 12. But after that 10% decrease, decreased, when it is decreased, again I will take 10% means 10 by 100, but this time 10% decreased. So 10 is decreased by 1, 10 has become 10 minus 1, it is so now again it is after multiplication this is 100 this is 100 oh, now i can say first this is increased by 20 percent they give the questions like the, the price of a commodity has been increased by 20 percent then after that uh, it is being decreased by 10 percent what is the net effect so net effect means obviously it is increased by 20 percent but later even if it is decreased by 10 percent overall it is increased by 8 percent only increased by 8 percent this is the other thing this is the other important point in percentages right next point we will move right the next point is uh, sometimes uh, they give in this way suppose uh, the comparison they give. They give the comparison. What type of comparison? Three numbers are there. Let us take uh, number X, number Y, number Z. Alright. They give in this way. Number X is, uh, uh, I am writing here, number X is 10% uh, more than, 10% more than Z. X is, right? X is uh, 10 percent more than Z. And y is uh, y is twenty percent more than more than right z means these two numbers are based on z only and they ask the question like right what then after that many questions can be asked uh, but let us explain this one in a detailed way because many students are getting confused uh, while doing this very simple very very easy point there now here since they have given in this way. We will take it this way. First, let us take the third number as the base 100. I am taking it as 100. We, uh, if the questions are based on percentage, find out the percentage or net effect or whatever it may be, you are at your liberty. You can take any number you want. Because finally it is not going to, uh, the percentage is not going to be changed. Even if you take this one 100 or 200 or, or 300, correspondingly these values will be changed according to the given numbers there. For that reason it doesn't affect our answer. So now, when if I take this one 100, obviously x is 10% more than z. Needless to say that is uh, uh, 110. 100 into 110 by 100. Now it is. y is 20% more than z. So now obviously it is 100. They can ask many questions on this one. Now they may ask uh, what percent is x on y, right? What percent is x on y? If they ask the question in this way, what percent is x on y means x on y. Remember this one. x on y. I need to show it in terms of percentage. Now the percentage is into 100. Alright. Suppose if they ask the question in this way, what percent is y on x? Now in this case, what 120 by 110 into 100. The result is in terms of percentage. Suppose if they ask the question in this way, by what percent, by what percent, y is 
more than that of x listen carefully because some students are getting confused here by what percent y is more than that of x if the question is like this by what percent y more than that of x is the question in this type of questions always remember which should be taken as the base while calculating the percentage always remember y more than that by what percent y more than that of x means x will become the base now in this case y is if you take this one by numbers y is 120 110 10 points are 10 numbers more than that of x but i need to show this one 10 as a percentage based on which one x then now i should do in this way now the difference is 10 by what percent y more than that of x so divided by x 110 into 100 right suppose if they give the same question by what percent x is less than that of y x is less than that of y in this case the difference is same by what percent x is less than that of y less than that of y means y will become the base 120 to 100. Hope you got the difference. All right. Right. The next question. Right. The next question is very very important. They give the questions in this way. Like uh, A salary is uh, some percentage more than that of B salary. By what percent B salary is less than that of is less than that of is. Now uh, let us go in this way. Suppose. Uh, if they give you this way. Now this question generally like uh, before going for uh, some moderate level questions let us finish on this question. Suppose if they give in this way is salary is salary is 25% more than 25% more than that of a base. Okay. Then the question is sir uh, by what percent by what percent b's salary right is less than that of less than that of s is the question right so now i should go for this one let us go with the conventional method first what's the conventional method because in the conventional method only you can understand the concept after that anyway i'll give you a very good shortcut for this one so now a salary is 25 more than that of B means take B salary as the base. I am taking this one as 100. Alright. Now A salary is 25% more than that of B. Now A salary should be 125. Alright. Now by what percent B salary less than that of A. B salary less than that of A. Now here B salary 